a quick offense for K Corp, but look how quicker this counter attack is for Furia. That's what you have to worry about with this team. They're so scary and lethal. Jeez. And look off the back wall, you couldn't clear that out, so Furia won't let you make that mistake again. More alive and starting to see if they can counter attack, but this one gets ripped right back up the middle, and it will be dunked home card. Just goes right through the last man. Not even sure that anyone got a hand on it here. Itachi trying his best. He didn't right have a boost. whole lot of boost to work with, and you're right, couldn't even get there. And Furia again, taking a little bit out of that Falcons playbook. If they can go into the air, they are doing it. Dish back to loss, trap on the floor, and look at him capitalize. Oh, they thought the shot was coming instantly. Changes up the timing of the attack, and they catch the defense diving. Oh yeah, a little bit of a dive from Vatira on the left, and someone from K-Corp had to adjust and just drive this in right in the middle of the net. 3-0 from Furious, K-Corp are left scratching their heads, whooping for gaps, look for a better shot, a quality oh. one, and Yan thinks he has it, Itachi can't get there, Furia 4-1. They handed this one to him on a platter. Exotic misses the corner boost, and so he has to play this ball he has plenty in the tank, but he never gets clean control. And they lose the ball so oh boy. quickly against Furia. Oh, I have a chance to go for the fifth one. It is saved. <laughs> Defensively, K Corp look cool, but yeah. Ethan. Oh my. Oh, well. <laughs> Need, needed to do something. Uh, that's something being not let another one in. So now I, I'm. I believe you, Chiefs. Five to two. That's a lock for Furia in game one dagger to the heart for real it's like Carmen Corp I, honestly and then you go back up here against Furia and you get more mechanical approaches that are tough to contain and they might be getting in their own head a little bit and everyone trying to do a little bit too much so they'll score to round out game one but it never felt close K Corp tried to keep up and Furia, you gotta applaud the stamina. That I think a, a lot of pressure here on Exotic to really perform and, and make sure he's getting a hand in delaying these Furia attacks. Oh my goodness, you can see why. Because Exotic doesn't get this first challenge and now Vatira has to play one on two and try as he might. And this time around they catch Furia sleeping. I think they totally lost track of where he was in the middle there actually. Otherwise they might have tried a little bit harder to challenge that ball. And forth we go with a kickoff for Yan. Oops. Double tap, styling on them. Oop, Card and Vatira are gonna fight for this. They bump each other off. Exotic has to cut the ankle. Multiple touches to stop the cross. Vatira saves in, and we're tied. Crazy bit of pinball right outside of the orange net here. Exotic gets everybody. Oh, get their card. Three shots and Card down, pinches. Exotic reads. Vatira, quick to just clear this good flick above uh, Furia there. Vatira in the 1v1, <laughs> 50 that just slips in, and 3-2 for K-Corp. Vatira does uh, the KC. Oh, another one coming through card. How do you defend it? You can't. Vatira puts him on skates, up two with 41. What a triple do, and you get the demo. Card off the wall, wanted to bounce out of it. Even if this last offense works, it's just not enough time. So will be K-Corp winning the twos game and tying up the series 1-1. And that was a big game, I think, for the men. Can't even tell if there was a touch there. Either way, it's Furia with the clear towards the wow. net. Lost. It's Wolves his way in. Nasty challenge here in the midfield line from Yan. Look at the chain dashes to keep up with the play, and it skims off of Atira's hood and lost. We go into the second half. Only 1-0, wow. and never mind. It's 2-0. Yan able to turn a difficult situation where he doesn't get the cleanest touch into a bump and Vatira had a hand up. He recognized what was coming. It was a beauty of an attempt too from K Corp. Very disappointing uh, to have that ball not tick in off the post and now they go for the change up. They shoot the ball slow and just to the left of three K Corp defenders. Nobody expecting the shot right there and no one can cover it up. Exotic crashes and burns. He gets nothing out of it. Oh, he's got Touching a flip. One, two. Oh. How many touches can he get? Vatira just needs <laughs> one to get a goal. <laughs> How many touches can he get? Enough to keep it playable for his team. One, two, three. Three touches, it looks like. An exotic. Look at him screen the defenders. 
Oh, you just feels like you have to play flawlessly, perfectly if you're going up against a team like Fury, oh, especially they on to land. Him. Lost. <laughs> well, got some assistance there, but this looks like a luck at 4-1. They look untouchable. Oh, Itachi just did not. It's just so uncharacteristic to see K Corp. I mean, not make this any closer, especially offensively. And this will be landing on the ground, leaving Furia on match point after a 4-1. This is going to be quite the 1v1, and it starts off with a disaster for Vati. Uh, things that are certain death taxes and Furia scoring first in a for game. For real. <laughs> scary. And Yan's kickoffs, incredible as usual. Incredible as usual. And apart from a potential kickoff goal, Jamboree extravaganza, this should be a very positional uh, type of game. As Vatira, you could see he mess. He, Vatira saw Yan mess up his kickoff. Uh, it depends how they take feedback. Vatira clearly doesn't need a hand after two unanswered goals. He's feeling himself. Nice little shove there on Yan to prevent him from picking up his own corner boost. Gives him all the advantage, and he will turn in a great shot off the sidewall because of it. Apparently, the oh, side of his perfect. And that's just like that, a tie between the two. Look at Yan keep his speed up as he, <laughs> he just boosts back to the wall to avoid getting demoed by Vatira, who ran out of boost. That was a beautiful bit of challenge game from <laughs> Yan. Well-deserved equalizer. Especially the moment he chose to go for that challenge, perfect. too. Picture perfect, just like this shot, too. That lead that Vatira had gone in like 30 seconds and another juicy kickoff Ooh, yan keeps oh. missing the small pads but he is keeping vatira at bay here with strong shots towards the net this one's going to be towards the back post actually he's going to slow it down maybe a bump and he <laughs> just gives him a little tap to force him out of the way the lead extends to two this vatira with a chance to start closing the mm. gap second touch gets it done and that is what time in free play does for you kids. You too can hit this shot if you just <laughs> practice. Believe it or not. Just somehow dodges Zid Vatira responding with a shot this time. Accurate. That ties it up with a minute 36 left. Vatira's had to play some tough defense all game. Finally on the third open net, he will find the equalizer. Ooh. Yan lives on. Can he get there with nothing? He has nothing. Is Yan going to make it back? <laughs> yes, he will. He it was so tough. Yeah. Oh, and he's going to score on the open net back the other way. <laughs> Vatira committed all of his resources to that air dribble bump. Oh, but that's a kickoff for Vatira, so he forgives that right back. We're back to 5 five. Back and forth. The tug of war shall continue. Great 50 from Vatira. You love to see an equalizer, especially when uh, he's irritated that Yan has got two kickoff goals in this game. It's only fair <laughs> that it should be tied up in that manner. Oh, this is so close. And who's quicker to recover off the kickoff so far? Off for Vitir, uh, must be yep. to the net. And, and where is this bounce going? Vatira salvages this as Yan gets back on his four wheels. Vatira looking for the insurance goal. Not a lot of time left. Looking for the bump <laughs> this time. He gets it. Successful this time, beating him at his own game too. Hey, Corp. Need to force the game five, unless Yan will be right back for him. Oh, boy. It's just you lead as Vatira. Oh, and again. <laughs> and Yan will forgive all of that. Oh, Vatira oh, almost had a chance <laughs> to get in the way. The two goal lead is gone. Crazy 50 here. Yan knows he's got no boost. And Vatira. Vatira, how does he respond to this? Yan tries to get in the way. It's like the bump, Yan. Wow. Somehow slows the ball down right at the goal line. Two goal line spinners back to back from both sides. Oh. Yan <laughs> It's Vatira. We start here with <laughs> K Corp flipping the script when it was Fury always scoring first. K Corp on fire. And Vatira now absolutely dialed in. Gotta feel amped up after you win a huge one. Hey, Corp, haven't been able to flip this off. It's yet the random shot from Yan. Oh, and 
it's a tie one one yan turning on the space id muscles here can see everything exotic has it contained out to the right side just get outside the ball great interception from yan to break up these passes breaks up the whole team gets fury in the lead they just win the the challenge game outright here in the midfield vatira you're a great defender man but now Fury have to work even harder to win. There's the flip and lost right through all the defenders. Fury a 3-1. You see what got Falcon so far. They get that flip reset and they just hold it for so long. And they finally just all collapse, unsure of when the hit is coming. Oh, Vatir has to go all the way down. He's slowed down by Yan. All Fury have to do is shut the door once and for all for one of the best European teams.